is an exclusive presentation of Cablevision Local Programming, TV that's close to home. A recent state report was released about the inadequacy of civil unions. What exactly does that mean? Well, it has something to do with what many are calling one of the hot topics for future political discourse and elections. Yep, gay marriage. And here in New Jersey, one assembly member has sponsored legislation addressing that topic. Find out who, what, and next. Next on Cablevision's Meet the Leaders. Welcome to Cablevision's Meet the Leaders. I'm Debbie Duhame. Bill A2978, the Freedom of Religion and Equality in Civil Marriage Act, addresses the equality of couples no matter what their sexual orientation is. Essentially, the bill says that all couples, no matter what their preference, should have the same rights under our state constitution. Joining me to discuss this hot topic is the prime sponsor of the bill, representative for New Jersey's 37th District, Assemblywoman Valerie Huddle. Thank you so much, Assemblywoman, for being here. Meet the leaders. Thank you, Debbie. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure to have you. And uh, this is one of the hot topics we've been seeing in the news uh, about uh, progress on this bill and, 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 you know, how did this actually come to fruition, well, the bill and the idea for it's it? It's certainly timely today because two years ago in 2006, Governor Corzine signed the Civil Union Act. And back then, he got a lot of bipartisan support from the legislature and I think even polling the residents of New Jersey certainly wanted equal rights for same-sex couples. It's more of an equal rights and a human rights issue than it was a gay rights issue. And that's how civil unions came about. But with that bill came the Civil Unions Review Commission study. And what is that? And that was a study that appointed 13 members to see how civil unions would work. And that was two years ago. And out of the 13 members, they weren't all uh, same-sex couples. Uh, a couple of them were clergy members. A couple of them were right-to-life Republicans. And the findings just came out the other day, and it did really prove that the civil unions, unfortunately, in some areas, were not working for these couples. Uh, for example, e equal health care, uh, pensions. This certainly, people were not familiar. For, for example, doctors. Um, people were not, from, the doctors were not familiar what civil unions actually meant. So they would be denying their partners of coming into the hospital or caring for their loved ones because they were civil unionized oh. and not the word married. And I think words are important. I think that um, there's, there's, there's federal funds also, Employee Retirement um, Security Act, the ERISA funds. That certainly is not going to help a civil union couple because it is not recognized as a marriage. Mm -hmm. Now tell, tell me about the health care, uh, because I find that very interesting, because wouldn't a company know that the person was in a civil union and have a specific uh, you know, health care card, benefit card sure. for their partner yes. since the civil union um, act took, went through? took place two years ago. You know, there, there were so, such heartwarming stories of, of human rights issues, and the one that comes to mind is the story of Laurel Hester. Uh, they did a documentary last year, it won an Academy Award. Laurel Hester was a police detective in Ocean County, and she was stricken by lung cancer, and she had a partner, a same-sex partner of about six years. They had a house together. Uh, she put 25 years in the department, so she was entitled to a pension. Um, when her partner went to apply for the pension, they denied her those rights. Um, of course, there was no overturn. It was too late. She did pass away since then. But that sort of led the way to advocate for equal pensions for your partner, equal health care uh, visitation rights for your partner. And again, even though we may understand it, some of us may understand it in the state of New Jersey, it's very difficult, again, because of the federal acts. And it is not recognized as a marriage. And, and I would like to say that, you know, the critics of this, we've come a long way. Marriage has developed over the years. I mean, you know, we can go back to the beginning of the century, the beginning of the world, when kings uh, had, you know, multiple wives. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go back to the civil rights era when, you know, the blacks would have to sit at the end of, you know, behind in the back of the bus. Mm -hmm. um, this issue really, it, it's separate still. 
therefore it's not equal. And these civil unionized people are the ones that, quite frankly, are sitting at the back of the bus. There's a stigma attached to the kids that they raise. Um, their parents are not married. Um, I went to a, a civil union and I said, I was telling somebody, explaining that I went to a civil union, and it would have been much simpler and easier for me to say, I went to a wedding. Mm. That person was married. Um, the bill, though, that we have out is freedom of religion, which means that if a couple is married, they can get married by a clergy member, but the church, because that's where we're getting a lot of the, the uh, criticism, uh, the church does not have to recognize them in the eyes of the church. But people get married outside of the church. And I feel that the institution of marriage needs to be strengthened. I mean, we, we as heterosexual couples, there are many divorces. Uh, statistics prove that people get married um, without real commitments and they get divorced. Today, divorce is very easy. I think, and I know a lot of committed same-sex couples that raise children and really have a loving and committed relationship. To me, this strengthens the institution of marriage. Who's to say that heterosexual couples are better parents? Um, heterosexual couple, couples, they can be child molesters, I mean, uh, you know, criminals. Doesn't make them any better than a same-sex couple. And if the people in New Jersey and across the United States believe in equal rights, again, it's an equal rights issue, it's a human rights issue. If they have tolerance for that, um, it's really a question of words. Yeah, and do you think by, by uh, the same-sex couples being able to get married, is that going to strengthen their family unit? Family unit they they have. You did mention that they are very good parents. The people that you know who are in civil unions. Do you think just by being able to get married is going to strengthen them I, I, in their family unit? I do believe that because the commission, the review commission, also came out with how children have become uh, products of uh, criticism and, and and stigmatized by their civil union couples. If they can tell their friends that my parents are married. Again, it's a matter of words, and words are very powerful. And when you use the word marriage, people get it. When you use the word civil union, it's certainly trying to strive for equality. And that's why I think that everyone, you know, no matter who you talk to, would, I believe, agree that these couples would like equal rights. But when it comes to the word marriage, they get cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> But the other question uh, was about the, the community accepting it, because you're saying having the word marriage in there with a same-sex couple, the community will accept it more. Do you think it's going to happen quickly, or is that something that's going to take time, you know, the way things are? You know, I think, Debbie, as I was saying, how, how marriage has evolved, and I think as we... Um, go into the future, I know even my children and the, and the generation coming before us, I think they're much more sensitive because we talk about it, and it is out in the open, and because we've had civil unions now for the last two years. I think the prejudice, hopefully in steps, will go away, because I think people are more informed, more tolerant, and more sensitive, and more committed to loving couples, regardless if they're man, woman, or you know, the same sex. So I'm hoping that people will finally accept the word marriage. I'm not saying um, if it happens, I think it's when it happens. And I think that is what uh, the legislature has to grapple with in, in time. I believe that this report just proves the fact that civil unions has some complications and challenges because of the fact that even though they, a couple was civil unionized, they were still not getting equal health care. They still were having problems getting their pensions for their, their loved ones. So I think these are the issues, and the stigma with the children, these are the issues that I think people really have to come to really come to grapple with. Now you have uh, four prime sponsors with your bill and seven co-sponsors. How about all, all the other legislators? Uh, what, what is the response to the bill that you're putting forward? Again, most of the, I want to say 90% of the legislators in 2006 agreed with the concept of civil unions. Because of the commission report that just came out and proved that there were some challenges and issues, and the governor said that he would sign a civil marriage bill if it came before his desk. I think that the advocacy now